Alibaba Singles Day sets insane record, but its stocks barely moved. Let's find out why. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today, we're going to talk about Disney Plus and Alibaba, and exactly why do some company stocks go through the roof when I have good news, and why did Alibaba stock, when it had set an insane single day sales record, why stock actually took a little dip or if even moved at all? Okay. So for everyone that don't know, Alibaba is a company over in China that sells pretty much everything. And their single day is just like Amazon's Amazon day. And they completely destroyed it. They ended up selling $38 billion worth of items in, in the first couple of hours alone. Okay, so during Alibaba first day, they sold over 38 billion. So at the same time, Amazon only sold $5.8 billion worth on Amazon day. So why didn't Alibaba stock go through the roof? Okay, before we talk about why it didn't go up, um, Alibaba had this to say, we are helping Chinese customers upgrade their lifestyles. China is an economic power and its citizens should celebrate by spending on Chinese platforms. While introducing new users to our digital economy, from across China and around the world, other countries should recognize that China's tech, e-commerce, and retail are legit. All right, so for those that don't know, uh, a lot of drop shippers or e-commerce actually use Alibaba. They set up stores here in America. Um, they, they blast out uh, sponsorships and commercials on Instagram and they take you to the site and you order from that site but what actually do the delivering is Alibaba they order it from Alibaba and then they ship it out to your house all right so if we take a look at Alibaba um, they sell anything from Nike electronics um, off-brand Apple products clothes retail pretty much anything that you can order online that actually can ship straight to your door for a very, 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 very low price, almost um, at cost. Okay, so what you guys been wondering is why didn't it, why didn't the stock price go up since it set an insane new record? And why did Disney Plus have good news just a couple of days later and the stock went up almost, what, 10% in a single day? Well, when stocks tend to not move is when something happens that was broadly expected to happen. So all of the shareholders of Alibaba completely expected for it to set a new record on this day based off the same thing that happened last year on the singles day. So it setting a new record like this was not any real news to investors. It really didn't shock any investors at all. In fact, if they didn't break a new record, that would have been bad news and negatively affect Alibaba stock. But since all the shareholders knew that this was going to happen, it didn't really affect the stock price at much, if at all. But at the same time, Disney Plus just launched their new service app that you could um, subscribe to that they announced that they had over 70 million subscribers sign up during the first week. Uh, Disney Plus got uh, Walt Disney shows, Cartoon Network shows, um, The Simpsons, all the Marvel shows, Pixar. So right now they're killing it um, during the first month that they had 70 plus subscribers subscribed in the first month alone. They was not expecting that. So that was actually good news for Disney Plus, which sent the stock sky high. So what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna pull up Think or Swim and we're gonna look at the charts and see exactly how did it behave to these two news factors this week. Okay, so we're here with Alibaba, ticker symbol B-A-B-A. -A. If we go over to the singles day, it started on the 11th. Right now, we're on the 4-hour, 180-day chart. The 11th is right here, right here, 11-11. And the stock, if we zoom in just a little bit, actually went down. It actually uh, started off the day down, but once the news came out that it broke, it actually went up just a little bit over 187 dollars per share 
And then for the rest of the week, it kind of rolled down all the way down to today to where the price is back down to $182.80. So that is how Alibaba reacted to the news. Investors already knew it was going to happen. Um, it's kind of correcting itself over the last 180 day for our chart. It was a bit overbought right here. So it's pulling back a little bit, looking like it's trying to recover pretty soon. Um, I might get in on Alibaba once the MACD crosses right here and goes into the green. I might actually get some Alibaba stock right the way back up to its last resistance point and probably sell it at the top. But if we take a look at Disney and how did they perform at on their good news is right here. Disney, uh, I think you could all tell when the price went up and when the announcement was made. Um, this is when Disney announced its earnings. It went up 5.86%, uh, super over, uh, super overbought, but it didn't matter because this is when Disney announced that the, uh, that that platform was available with all of their shows available to be streamed. And it went up again, another 8.2% in a single day. So I would not be buying any Disney, any more Disney right now at the time I actually own Disney. I will wait for it's a fair value. Uh, right now it's a little bit overpriced for me at $147. Once I see Disney start to balance out a little bit more, I'll pick up a couple more shares of Disney so I can add it to my dividend portfolio. All right guys, so to make it super simple on news is that when news is expected, price of that stock is really not going to move too much at all when it's expected news. Now, when news is a complete surprise, something great happened to the company that investors was not expecting at all, that stock, that stock price is going to go up. Now, if there's bad news that come out of nowhere, completely blindsided, and let's say a company has a complete recall of a certain product, that no one knew was coming, then that stock is going to dramatically drop down and go down very fast. And you might want to sell and protect some of your holdings on that stock. So that's why it's very important to pay attention to the news and what's coming up and just don't buy into the hype. Don't buy because, oh, oh, it just broke a record. It must be doing very good. Let me buy. And then you actually end up losing money. You actually have to pay attention to what's going on and then what was expected to happen. But yeah, guys, if you guys uh, participated in the Amazon uh, day or Alibaba day or ever ordered from Alibaba before, um, drop a comment below on how that service was. China is trying to become uh, a powerhouse, letting everyone know that, hey, we sell high quality stuff too. But um, drop a like. It really helped out this channel a lot subscribe and comment down on if you like amazon and alibaba better but yeah this is zeke bring you the dream green show and i'm out peace